Hello, hello guys. This is Rago42 and today I'm on the SciCraft Creative Server on top of a huge half slab platform. Well, nothing too special, but what we see below is something that's a bit more interesting. And if we take a look over here, you might know this already. So this is basically the farm design we used for a spider farm on the SciCraft server. So basically spiders could spawn anywhere here on the front row. They can't spawn back here or other mobs also can't spawn because, well, there's something in the second block above. So other mobs don't fit in. Spiders can only spawn at the front here. And no matter where they spawn, they would activate the pressure plate here and would get shot off. Now, you might also remember that 1.9 has some problems, right? So redstone dust as well as pressure plates are spawn proof. Meaning they don't intersect with spawning, so spiders could still spawn on these empty spaces, reach over here and they would get shut off. But of course, two out of three spaces here could not be an original spawning space. So that kind of kills our raids, which is a bit sad. So what I did is I made a really simple fix. Uh, this is, by the way, a mixed slice. So here's the old one. Here's the new one. Um, and the closer just to disable them for a test I did. So what we have here is something fairly similar, but we don't have anything on the front row where spiders would spawn. But the hitbox is of course big enough to reach out to these pressure plates and via these repeaters they would power the block next to a pist piston, push out a slime block, spider gets shot off. Well, the closer one wouldn't be here, but let's go to another slice. So right here they get shot off, fall down, and we collect them with minecarts. So that's a fairly simple fix, I think. There's really not much you have to change. Um, of course, you can build this to an arbitrary size. But one thing that's maybe a bit more interesting is how much does this affect the rates? So you've seen these glass pillars I put on top. This is exactly at the center of the farm. And I have the same number of slices, so the same number of, let's say, 1.8 spawning spaces on the left side with the old design and on the right side with the new design. And I'm standing exactly in the middle. So we have a pretty fair comparison and let's see what came out after about 75 minutes of test. So the old design gave about 2100 items and the new design, well, you see it's already quite a bit more. It's almost two double chests, which isn't too bad. So compared to, well, not that much. Um, so since spiders drop on average one string per spider, and it's more or less a binomial uh, decision, so there's a certain probability that a spider will spawn in some uh, point in time, but it's fairly low that it actually hits one of these places, especially since we are high up in the world. So I simply assumed that the distribution of drops would be roughly uh, according to a Poisson distribution, and so I estimated some uncertainties on that, meaning by how much it would vary, and the way you usually do that is, well, for a Poisson distribution, it's simply square root of the number of drops in this case you would have. So if you have n drops, it would be square root of n, or the variance, to be precisely, would be n, because that's sort of the uncertainty, or the, the width of your distribution squared, at least if you then make the assumption that it's almost Gaussian. And yeah, so there are some laws how to propagate this on some other quantities you calculate from these inputs. And... The ratio between the old design and the new design is actually that the new design is better by a factor of 3.19 and the uncertainty on that after only a 75 minute measurement is about uh, 8%, well 0 0.08, so about 3% on the total ratio, which I think is fairly accurate and yeah, it also shows that it's a bit more than actually a factor of 3, which I assume is simply uh, due to easier pack spawning. Because if I remember correctly, so I'm not entirely sure about that part, I would have to look it up in the code. If pack spawning, uh, pack spawning can only happen if the first attempt starts, and so you might get a bit more than one spider per successful initial uh, spawn, which of course is a factor three higher here than over here. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really special about the collection system. It's just a typical minecart unloader. So as soon as an item goes in here, here can't be a, a hopper. It would get sucked out too quickly. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple system.
you can see it yourself. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Um, if you've built our old spider farm design, well, this is a new one to go for, and it's really easy to change it. So it might be possible to make a more efficient one in 1.9, but what I had in mind here is, of course, to upgrade it as easily as possible from the old one to the new design. And yeah, that's pretty much everything uh, for this part. So hope you enjoyed. Oh, and of course, I'll try to link the original design, um, which, if I remember correctly, was by Coolman. So yeah, you will find a link in the video description, of course. And yeah, so see you next time. Bye bye.